Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm gonna do another wardrobe tour. Um, basically, I didn't realise that people update their wardrobe tour videos in January, so that's why it's quite close to my last one because I did my last one last year sometime not in January. I <laughs> don't know when I did it, but since then I have made a lot of updates to my wardrobe, so I thought it's now January. It's now 2021, let's just uh, go through some of my new dresses and some of the dresses that were in the previous video. So I'm going to start with this dress which is called My My Favourite Room Special Set by Angelic Pretty. Um, I always said I don't like blue and then I saw this dress and I thought well I guess I like blue now. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, this is my outfit. So first of all, this is the Ballet Spirit by Souffle Song and it has a cape. And here is the dress in its Full glory. I really love the asymmetrical shape at the bottom. I've done elven looks with this and I also really want to do like a spooky mermaid themed dress. I have the idea in my head. It will probably look better once I put it all together. Just looking at the dress right now, it doesn't look very mermaid but I think with accessories I could definitely do something like an all white mermaid look. So this is what I'm gonna call Pink Princess by Bodyline and it has shearing. This is one of Bodyline's best dresses in my opinion. I just absolutely love the hearts in the lace and just the amount of fabric down the bottom here. Like I need two massive petticoats to actually show how big this dress can get and then even then it's still not enough. This dress is called Charming Jumper Skirt by Angelic Pretty and here is the back. Here is my Charming JSK the fabric on this dress. I don't know what the type of fabric is but it's very thick. It's just great for winter and I love this little cheeky peep hole, the little gem at the top and this like polka dot tool sorry my nails are so disgusting I should have painted them but oh well and like this massive chunky bow with the pearls and then as you come down look at that scalloped edge and like with this little polka dot bit across it's just, it's just beautiful and I really love this fabric it's great um should have ironed but it's me I don't even iron I hate ironing so this is what you get I'm not sure if this was featured in my last video, but this is a Romantic Perfume JSK in pink by Angelic Pretty, and this is the back. It's one of my longest dresses. Um, I'm a very short person, so this comes up quite long on me, but it's beautiful. So if you hadn't noticed, I really love perfume prints, so of course I had to get this dress. Look at those sleeves. It's just so extravagant and romantic hence the name romantic perfume i really like these um little tassels on the end and i've also made a necklace to specifically go with this print and i'm really freaking proud of it um i have to show you actually but here's the lace with roses on the bottom and here's my necklace that i made i put like a little dangle charm on it and of course perfume bells and I made the little roses that go on there as well oops they're so small like it was really delicate and quite fiddly but look at that it just matches so well I'm very proud of myself this is Milky Swan JSK in pink by Angelic Pretty and I bought this in Closet Child in Japan here it is the beautiful Milky Swan with one of the most detailed bodices is really beautiful. I've noticed it's going a little bit yellow on some of my lace 
um, I've only just noticed that so I don't know when that started yellowing so I need to give it a little wash I think um, I really love this overlay and then underneath there's castles and mountains and the best part is these little baby ones with these roses I mean it's just so detailed look at that and the castle just really brings it together and then of course there's AP in the lace this is creamy cherry JSK in pink by angelic pretty just gorgeous here is creamy cherry yay now like I said I bought this to replace another dress um, and I just really love pink and red together and these buttons are just so cute like sparkly ones i love that like the words angelic pretty they look like cream hence the name and the combination of this like burgundy red with the light red because sometimes it's really hard to match reds sometimes it's too dark but if i have something too light it will go with the cherries and if i have something too dark it will go with the belt so it's a win-win i like the little bow piping along the bottom i think that's a really pretty feature and these little creams with the strawberries and last but not least cherry lace with AP written in it what more could you want next is dreamy girl JSK in lavender by angelic pretty and it normally has a bow across here but every time um, because like I had so many dresses in there it was so squashed the ribbon was so delicate it would just get so creased and messed up so I, I take it off when it's hanging up in the wardrobe and it's also got shearing this is the high waist JSK and I'm very tempted to also get the other the other shape <laughs> JSK in black I love cosmetic prints so obviously I had to have this I love this frill in the middle of the bodice um, and this is what I mean by a sad bow look at that it just it got so ruined in my wardrobe um, and it was like this when I bought it with this little um, catch on it which is a shame but I don't know what to do about it really I just love the colors chosen in this with the lavender the pink then a darker lavender the mint um, and these boxes are just it's just, it's just a really nice print um, I'm not that keen on the fabric like this weird lining so much but it is good for summer so yeah and this one has bow lace along the bottom I don't know why I said that so weird this is my fantastic dolly JSK in lavender of course I didn't sell this or get rid of this it's my baby <laughs> Oh, and the back has shearing. Dun, da, da, da. I have the second re-release. I think it's the second one. Um, so this is the polyester version. I would really love to own the corduroy, which was the original, but I rarely see that pop up. Um, and whenever Fantastic Dolly in this colorway pops up, it's always just so expensive it's like 300 quid plus and I was, you know I've got this one I'm just really happy that I just own this print and it's not the horrible replica that I used to have can't really see but this has polka dots in it this is my only thing like my only problem with this dress I kind of wish this was spaced out a bit more so you could see that there's polka dots that match you know the polka dots in the print but I still love it. I just think it's it's a print that every time I look at it, it brings me so much happiness. This is Kitten Cosmetics JSK in Lavender by Diamond Honey. I really love the bodice on the front of this dress. I feel that Diamond Honey don't tend to do much on their bodices, but I really like this little frill. It's just a nice feature, a nice little detail to the dress. This bow is detachable, but it's quite a sturdy one, so I don't feel the need to take that off in my wardrobe. This is the print. Um, 
I just I really love this perfume bottle I think it's so nice and the powder puff yeah it's just it's just beaut I like this cat holding the fan and this one showing off his little booty uh, because this is a Taobao brand they don't tend to have such elaborate lacing really so this is just just a little polka dot trim but it, it looks nice because it matches now this is a new dress this is castle mirage lavender jsk by angelic pretty i didn't really look at this dress so much until my friend bought it and this dress is very her like she loves lavender she loves silver um and yeah when she wore it i was like holy that is i mean <laughs> i need to stop swearing holy moly this is a beaut like the print is just gorgeous and um i'd seen it pop up quite a few times and it was always too expensive and then one of my friends was selling it the bow's a little bit wonky but i'm gonna sew it so i really love the bodice of this i'm not sure what this um set is called because i know there's different um there's different cuts to castle mirage and i have this one whatever this one's called um yeah it there's like a few little marks on the bow um which i have yet to get out but i did get this second hand it came like that look at all those shades of purple and like the details in that carriage it's just beautiful and i really like this this feature where it has these pearls going around the are they called spires I don't know, maybe I just made that word up, but oh, I didn't even notice that. There's like a little merry-go-round on the top. Castle. And it says angelic pretty on there. Well, you learn something new. It's just so detailed. It's really gorgeous. And the lace on this is pretty simple, but I don't mind so much because the print is so elaborate, you know? I still have Dolly Cat Lavender JSK by Angelic Pretty, of course. You know, you can't go wrong with a cat print. And here is the back. And to start with, pearls on the straps. Beautiful. Um, I am missing the bow in the middle, but that's just how it came when I bought it in Closet Child in Osaka. Uh, this bow is detachable. Um, a lot of people who don't wear Lolita, like my friends and family, absolutely love this dress like whenever i wear it and i mean who can blame them look at all these cats look how detailed that is and the best part they all have names perfume bottle i mean can't go wrong carol just friends reference anyone else love that film just me okay i mean she has a bonnet she's showing off her booty old dorothy like look at her nail polishes why is this curtain not in my room? I don't know. Cats, presents, jewels. It's just so fancy. And there's ribbon lace. Beautiful. This is my lavender plaid OP by Diamond Honey. Of course, because it's an OP, there's no, well, sometimes they have um, a bit of elasticated back, but this one doesn't. So this one is obviously a little more casual to some of my other dresses. Um, it's nice sometimes just to have a little more, more of a simple dress and it's just great for summer because of the fabric. It's very lightweight and I like this little ruffle along the bottom. Um, and yeah, I compare this with so much stuff. I've paired it previously with red as you saw in my last video and I had like the lavender bell and like red little brooches and stuff this would look good with pink black um the options are endless this is madame rococo in i don't know what color <laughs> jsk by la petite ville uh the fabric is really nice but also really difficult to keep not creased and then i also don't know how to iron this without ruining it either so <laughs> yeah i think i'm gonna purchase myself a steamer and this is the back it's just it's very delicate i feel like i can't do this dress justice because i haven't taken the best care of it it's really difficult to keep 
uncreased. I, I think it's just this fabric and and the fabric along the bottom here. But I just love the details on these ladies. La Petite Ville is, I think they're a UK brand. I've met the designer. Um, she designed the fabric, made the dress. Uh, it also came with this sash, but I bought it secondhand from a girl who included the sash, but it's actually by Chess Story, which this also needs a clean as well. But I think this lady's dress is my favorite. Just look at that, beautiful. I really love the colors as well. It's just very soft and elegant. Um, I just need to actually figure out a way to iron it without ruining the fabric, so yeah. Da -da -da. This is my Princess of Roses JSK in Mint by Angelic Pretty. Just, oh my goodness. There are no words for this freaking dress. Just gorgeous. So here is a close up of such a beautiful dress. I love these frilly details on the straps. The straps are actually a little bit too wide for me, which is unusual for AP but I love this detail as well it's detachable um, just look at the flowers in the fabric I love the way the light shines against it and as you come down I love that there's like two sections here and then it's just filled with this beautiful lace detail throughout the whole dress with accents of pink I just think this green colour is gorgeous, especially against the pink. So yeah, that's one of my most extravagant dresses. This is Lovely Bar from JSK, special set by Angelic Pretty, which also has shearing on the back and usually has a bow here, but like I said, I don't like the little bows to get ruined, especially when they're made of, um, I think it's satin, they, they just, they get a bit ruined, so yeah. Now, like I said in my previous video, I didn't like grey until I saw this. I mean, grey and pink looks beautiful together. And I love this bodice, even though I'm not that keen on, on the uh, ribbon, like literally cutting across the tits. Um, but I really like this feature of the little bubble pearl thing in the bow. Um, but yeah, this set, the special set was 75 pounds, brand new in the AP store in Harajuku so ooh, I had to get it just look at all these little soaps and the bubbles I really love these two bottles I just like bottles you know <laughs> I don't know what the obsession with bottles is but um, it's quite a simple lace detail at the bottom here just with AP but I think it works quite well for this dress now this is a new one and it's very different to the rest of my wardrobe it is the collared plaid in, I don't know what colour this is, navy and green. It's a black watch check by Innocent World. And this is the back. And I bought it because I am a freaking huge fan of Outlander. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, then you wouldn't know that. But if you do follow me on Instagram, you're probably like, shut up about that bloody TV show. <laughs> but I love Outlander. It's just, um, and this just gave me lolita outlander vibes this is one of my more simple dresses so there's not really that much to show but i just really love this collar with the bow and these buttons and as you can see it's um it's actually green green and navy and black this is the black watch check it's really hard to see in like when i add filters to um my pictures and stuff like that but it is in fact not black <laughs> which it does look in certain photos um, I had this altered because it was too long for me it was a long version but it was only 60 pounds which was quite good um, and Innocent World uses really nice fabric it's it's just a nice warm winter dress and very outlander this is the antique doll JSK in black by Angelic Pretty again it's another one that's hard to keep not creased in the wardrobe but there's the back another simple and elegant JSK. I think everyone needs like a simple dress in their wardrobe as well because I feel you can do a lot more with more simple dresses. You know, I could wear this 
vintage, a little lam K, gothic. I just, I needed a plain black JSK in my wardrobe and I picked this one. This is Cutie School, I don't know why it's called that, in black by Angelic Pretty. I love gingham. So I got rid of that Diamond Honey black OP that I had so I could purchase this. And it's good shearing on the back. Another quite simple dress. Um, I also really love simple dresses as well as the big extravagant ones. Um, I actually replaced these buttons. Originally they were like these weird kind of black and brown ones and I was like, ah. So I put these like pearly kind of ones on instead. And I really like this little embroidered trim across here. I have no idea why this is called cutie school because it doesn't really look like a school uniform to me. I mean, I suppose the gingham is kind of very reminiscent of like, I used to wear a gingham dress in my primary school, but it was pale blue. But the shape and the fit and everything is completely not, it's not primary school dress at all. Oh, I forgot to mention uh, more embroidered lace, but I'm excited to wear this in summer with all different colour combinations. This is also a new one from my last video. This is, I don't know how to say this word. Etoile? Etoile? Twins? Oh my God, I should have looked that up before I even attempted that, shouldn't I? But it's, it's basically got ballerinas on it and I'm guessing Etoile is like 12, maybe? In, I'm just completely guessing this. I have absolutely no idea but it's um, that JSK by Angelic Pretty in black. And this is the back. Ta-da! The dress that I don't know how to pronounce. Um, I fell in love with this dress. Like, look at those pearl, look at those pearl straps, beautiful. Um, because I saw someone wearing it in this colorway and I'd never really looked at it before. Um, and I realized it's beautiful. And this, for some reason, has this like detachable thing here. But when you take it off, I thought it was like a cleavage cover, but when you take it off, no cleavage shows anyway, so I'm not quite sure what that's for. I love this little peplum, because it, you know, makes it feel like a ballerina dress. And there's ballerinas on the dress. And this is around about the time when I realised, like, this powder blue with black is beautiful. And I love it. And this lace has crowns in it. Does it say? Oh, of course it says angelic. Does it say angelic pretty or just angelic? Oh, pretty is there. Okay. Okay. Um, swans, ballet shoes. Also, this feature is really nice. Here's my Dreamy Perfume OP by Angelic Pretty in black. Which, you've seen this in the last video, so... Nothing new here. I am still on the hunt for the JSK version of this dress. Um, it's just, it never seems to come up. Only the OP seems to come up for some reason. But the OP is also really gorgeous. I just prefer JSKs because I think you can do a lot more with them. You know, you can combine different colours, have blouses, and I love, I love sleeves. So, OPs kind of take away the chance to have, you know, big billowing sleeves. But just look at the details. Like I love this kind of like corseting and all these ribbons with the perfumes in it. And the lace has bows. Yeah, just beautiful dress all round. And last on my day. <laughs> Why? And last but not least, this is a new dress. This is Candy Sprinkle by Angelic Pretty in black. And I would also say this is quite different to the rest of my wardrobe, but I just suddenly was like, I really love black with like hints of baby blue and white. And then uh, this dress just kind of combines it all and I love the iridescent buttons. And I found it so, so cheap on Macari. I had to buy it, so. I bought this dress because I just absolutely love all of the colours used. Like, look at this, like, the, it's like a blue, lavendery, white, pink combo. These beautiful buttons. Uh, this is not detachable. Um, I just really love sweet prints in black because like look how much that pops against the colour 
Oh, I just... And the details in this. I'm not usually one for like really sweet, cakey kind of prints. Um, Cause I don't really do like OTT sweet. I do like sweet, um, but I prefer it more like a vintage kind of boudoir -y vibe. Um, but with this dress, I really want to do like, you know, the whole twin towels, um, you know, like a big extravagant outfit with this. Cause it's just, it's just a beautiful print. It's very dreamy. This is Griffin's Whisper by Midnight Forest or Moonlight Forest, I think. Uh, yeah, it's a Taobao store and this is the back. And can you get any more slivering than this? I think not. I had to buy this skirt. I mean, if Draco was a Lolita, would he not wear this skirt? I think he would. There's just like so much detail. There's a griffin, which is kind of weird. Like it should be a snake, but hey, we've got a griffin. Um, but the colors just really work. It's just very Hogwarts. Moonlight Forest. I didn't know if it was midnight or moonlight. Why didn't I just look on the freaking skirt? I would have um, figured that one out much quicker. And the lace is just this really, really cute design. I don't really know what to call that. Um, yeah, so that's the last one. Ta-da! So that's my updated wardrobe tour. So yeah, the rest of my skirts are all pretty much the same, except for obviously the one that's coming in the post that's not here yet. So I hope you enjoyed my update. I don't know, maybe see you soon. Bye!